Let's get to it because there is one game away until we reach the 108th Grey Cup and the Ticats have a chance to play on their own fields when they take on the Toronto Argos this Sunday at BMO Field, something they've been dreaming about. It will be the fifth time that they play the Double Blue this season and to get you set for that, happy to be joined by their head coach, our uh, Ticats head coach, Orlando Steinauer, who is on the show for the first time this season. Coach O, how are you? Doing great, Tim. How are you? Good to see you, bud. Can I call you Coach Good to be O? Seen. Is that what, is I'm that sorry? what I said? Can I call you Coach O? Of course. Is it what do, what do people say to you on the street in Hamilton when you're getting a coffee or going for something to eat? It depends if we won or lost. <laughs> <laughs> so what did they say what did they say to you on Monday morning? Uh, great job, coach. Great job, coach. No, most of the time everybody just calls me O because uh you know, most people will call me Orlando, which my mom wouldn't approve of. And I don't know, Orlando seems to be hard to say. So it's become O and Coach O. Yeah, I, I'm guilty of that. I think we had you on the show and I was calling you Orlando. So Orlando or Coach O. Um, listen, what did you, what, so you're back at practice today. What's, what's your uh, message to the team going to be when you get going today? Well, that we got to turn the page. You know, it's, uh, I always want uh, our organization and everybody involved uh, to enjoy a win because they're not easy to come by, uh, especially playoff wins. When you're playing elimination football, it's tough. And so you got to enjoy the journey also, but you also got to be mature enough to turn the page. So we're going to uh, look in the rear view mirror here for a little bit today. We're going to watch the, a little bit of the film of, Mo of Montreal because uh, we obviously did not play perfect, uh, but there's some things we did well, some things we need to improve on. So we'll address those and then we're moving on. Okay, so let's go there. What did you do well on Sunday? Well, we got at least one more point than they did. And as <laughs> there you go. may sound, that's the goal in elimination football. Uh, I thought that our defense harassed the quarterback. I thought we protected the quarterback well. Uh, I thought we did a great job of being physical on special teams. And then we, when we did get into the score zone offensively, uh, we came out with points every time, including a field goal and two touchdowns. And, uh, you know, the, the takeaways the, or the, on defense were tremendous. And like I said, the goal is to always win. And it was great to do it in front of uh, an amazing crowd at Tim Hortons Field. Okay, so what do we need to work on then? What do we look at on Sunday and say, we got we to be better in this area? Well, uh, I think we got to get off field. the field a little bit more on, on second down defensively. Special teams, we got to find a way to uh, break, you know, make a game-changing play, whether it's a big return, a block punt, uh, something like that. And then offensively, we just need to be a little bit more efficient. We've got to be efficient. We've got to move the ball, keep our defense off the field a little bit, keep their defense on the field. You talked about turning the page. How do you turn, not turn that page too far to look ahead to the Grey Cup on, on the 12th? You've played in this game as a coach. Well, you coach the game. You've actually played in the game as a player, too. How do you not look ahead playing at home in the Grey Cup and make sure you're focusing on the Argos? Well, the only way you get that opportunity is to handle your business this week. And that's that's why it's not that big of a, a factor, Tim, because, you know, we always know the end goal. Every year, every team sets out to do that. There are only four teams left, and after this weekend, there'll be two. And the thing is, is we've done a great job of not end watching. We always know the end goal, uh, but we don't end watch. We focus on the process and, and the daily grind, and those are our stepping stones. Uh, to the pinnacle. So tomorrow on the show, in this very spot, we're going to have uh, Argos coach uh, Dinwiddie on the show. Um, mm -hmm. Any message you want me to pass along to him? No, I don't. There's, there's nothing. I respect. You know, they earn. They're a great football team. Obviously, he's done a great job as their leader. Uh, they got the buy. They earned that. Um, you know, they've beaten us more times this year, but I don't have any messaging. Our focus is always on ourselves. You know, I would say congratulations to him for being uh, up for coach of the year. It's, it's well-deserved, but uh, I, I got my own sack of rocks to carry. Okay, but, is there, but can I ask him, you want me to find out something for you? I can kind of do some digging for you. You want a game plan? Like you want something me to do a little, little digging, help you out a little? Nope. Are, are you sure? Okay. Okay. I'm just, I'm just offering my services to you. Yeah, I appreciate uh, it. I just don't want to get a bill. I don't want to get a bill later. So 
<laughs> oh, you're a veteran on the field and uh, as coach too. Hey, great to have you on the show. Best of luck on Sunday, and we hope to uh, we hope to see you another week. Hey, I appreciate it. Look forward to talking with you guys again. All right.